It's an electric atmosphere, that's for sure. Let's play some football. Kendon with it teed up. Whistle sounds, approach. We are underway. Anderson, the freshman, will field this at the eight. Works right up the middle of the field, looks for some running room. Squirts underneath the tackle, gets out to the 25-yard line. That is where he's brought down. Beavers will come to Wapolo. We'll see what Wilton comes out and tries to do here tonight. Uh, Colton Dietz and Roach are the defensive tackle starting tonight. Drake in the gun. Olsen straight behind him. Twins right. They're going to run that stretch play on the near side. Olsen stretched out. Barnes rushes him down back at the 20-yard line. Barnes and Kinden both right there. That'll be a loss of four. Play, and they read it well. Now be smart. Make sure they don't play action that and pull it back one time. But come back with Twins to the left. It's the short side of the field. Drake, long count, out of the gun. Straight drop back to pass. Looks right, nothing there. Now steps out of the pocket, breaks one tackle. Donovan right there, slows him up. Dietz wrestles him down as he gets back to the original line of scrimmage. Five. Trips to the right this time. Olsen staying right behind Drake, out of the gun. Sprint out to the right, looks to throw quick. Nothing doing, now he looks. He's got a man tipped away. Yards per kick, I believe. Uh, yeah, he is actually 43 yards 43. a kick, a long of, of 55. And the other thing is he's also a threat yep. being the quarterback. Gets a nice high kick. Barnes camps under it at the 36. Comes back near side, looking for a block, waiting for Schauber. Now tries to cut it oh, back. He's got, he's got, got a lot of running room. Cuts it back up the middle now at the 45. Breaks another arm tackle at the 40. Still going. Finally, Drake is out there to wrestle him down at the Wilton 36-yard line. First quarter after forcing a three and out. Barnes and Schauber split out to the left. Kendon and Kabla to the right. Lenox straight behind Koenig out of the gun. Straight drop back to pass. All times of time. Steps up, fires. He's got Barnes wide open down the middle. Makes the grab. No, oh. it was knocked away last minute. Had probably five, six seconds to throw that one. Twins left, offset eye behind Koenig under the gun, under the center rather. Handoff, off tackle right side, Lenock looks for some running room, breaks a couple arm tackles, spins his way down to the 28 yard. Important first down for the Bears. Going straight eye this time, Twins to the left, tight end, Cobbler to the right. Koenig, he'll hand it off to the fullback, Kendon, and he fights his way inside the 25, down to the 24. Bears gonna come out with trips left, one back set. Tight end cobbled to the right of the formation. And there is the counterplay back near side. Linock again, an arm tackle in the backfield. And then his double teamed as he's brought down. He's not going to bring down Luke. Barnes splits out to the right. Schauber way out to the left, the wide side of the formation. Straight eye. There is the keeper. No, they're going to give it to Kendon. I think Koenig trying to pull that out. And Kendon just down in four. Twins left for the Bears. Offset eye. Koenig staying up under center. There is the off tackle right, right for Lenock, and he's hit at the 15, shoves a man out of the way, gets down. Or 23 yards, excuse me. Double tight ends, now they're going to run that motion with Kendon. Play action. Koenig lobs it to the end zone to the corner. Barnes makes the grab, both feet in for the touchdown Bears. Even the one that uh, was, you know, Barnes darn near for a touchdown earlier was Cooper was right on the dot. It was just uh, uh, Drake got a hand in to defend that. Kendon's extra point sails right through the uprights. So with 7.28 to go in the first quarter, West Branch leading by a score of 7-0. to zero. All back, tuck it in. Um, boy, this would be a good start. We need to put a full game together, and this would be a great night to start. Anderson and Navarro again back deep to receive. They actually flip-flop sides, and this one a high short that Anderson fields on the run. Loses the handle on it out by the 20, and he's going to fall on it at the 24-yard line. Almost the exact at the 25-yard line. Beavers send twins right, twins left. Oveson straight behind Drake. Staying in the gun. There is the handoff right side for Oveson. Breaks one tackle in the backfield. Fights his way out to Wilton the... Wilton plays like he has been playing. He's going to be in that Wilton backfield all night long. Second and five for the Beavers. There is the handoff again coming near side is Oveson, and he breaks a tackle. Look out, here he comes across the 40, 47, 48-yard line. That'll be a game. 
just cut it back in the backfield and went for 17 out to the Bears 47. Basically the same play. That time he's hitting the backfield, keeps those legs turning, but there's four jerseys to greet him and throw him back. He gets back to the line of scrimmage. Second down and nine. Navarro, Timpson to the right. Reifert, Anderson to the left. Play action, quick little flare pass out there, goes to Navarro, makes one guy miss, turns it back up the field, wrestled down, penalty flag comes in. Spreading out our defense. And he just faked the run there and popped up and hit that guy. So first and 10 inside the Bears 40 at the 38. Handoff, Opson coming near side, and Barnes had him in the backfield, slowed him up enough so that four more jerseys could grab him and drop him. Zero. Empty backfield, twins left, trips right. Bears getting the defense over and set. Drake with the long count, looks over, gets the man out here, Reifert, and Lenock misses him in the backfield. Brought down at about the 32-yard line. Third down and five, ball at the 33 of the Bears near hash mark. Wilton going right to left into the wind. Not much of a breeze right now. And there we're going to have quarterback keeper, and Drake gets to the 30. And that's going to... Wilton comes up. Looks like they're going to come in an offset eye formation. Brisker in at a fullback. Drake, quarterback, keeper, and I don't uh, think he got uh, it. He got uh, about a yard. That's going to be well short. He needs. So first down West Branch at their own 29-yard line. Trips left, one back set, caning under center. Bears already lead 7-0. Wilton showing blitz. Everybody up to the line. Now they back off. There's the off-tackle play near side. Linock. And a great tackle out there. No, Obson unable to hang on to him. Lenock still hopping his way out almost to the third. And he drug him for three yards. Second down and four. The ball sits near hash, 35-yard line. Offset eye, twins left. Cobble the tight end to the right. Blitz coming. They're going to hand off near side. And this time Lenock is hit in the backfield and wrestled down. Running into Now a tight twins to the left, inside of the hash, offset eye. Koenig, five-step drop, throws down the middle of the field for Schauber, and Schauber cut the route a little short. A little bit of pressure coming at and keep going down the seam with it because it looked like he had a step on the guy, and Schauber was almost flattening the route out a little bit. So Kendon will come in to kick this one away. Snap a little high, gets it down, though. This one is a wow. high, deep kick. Anderson goes back and fields it at the 15-yard line. Looks for some running room on the right side and is wrestled down there by Dietz at the 20. Beavers again spreading things out. Jabbing Drake out of the gun. Play action, fumble on the play, and he falls on it. That will be a loss for receivers out there. Um, and you tried to get a one-on-one -on -one with a receiver and a defensive back. Trips right this time for the Beavers. Kendon showing blitz off the backside. There's the out route, and the catch is made. A couple of sidestep moves, not getting anywhere, as I believe that was Navarro out there makes the grab for 30 yards, and he's putting it on the money. Third and seven at the 23. Trips right the short side of the field. Drake, long count, straight drop back to pass, under pressure, comes near side, looking for Reifert. He's got a step on the defender, unable to bring it in one-handed as Reifert back against, we don't have heights listed, but I think Reifert looks like he's about six foot or six one. So Drake to kick this one away. This one is a low wobbly kick that Barnes lets bounce, now picks it up, comes near side. Tries to sidestep a couple of guys and then is wrestled down back at the 39-yard line along with Shaver. Bears have been staying in this center, under center look with a lot of eye formation and the fullback in there. There is the handoff to that fullback, Kendon, and he's lowering the shoulder, fighting his way across the 45. Most likely, barring an out-of-bounds or an incomplete pass, final play of the first quarter. Bears go twins left. Wilton showing blitz. They've got six guys on the line of scrimmage. There is the handoff again, and that time Kendon has wrestled down. Back to action here. 
Again, that four wide look to the left. Caning out of the gun. Nine guys basically inside the box. Koenig rolls left, looks, goes deep, and makes oh, the catch. Whoa. Completion made to Shiloh yes. right behind Drake into Wilton territory, out of bounds at the thin. Moves the sticks down to the Wilton 32-yard line. Offset eye behind Koenig. There's the off-tackle play up the middle. Linock gets tripped up, not before he gets all the way down to the 20-yard line. Uh, secondary in a heartbeat. Yeah. Trips right this time for the Bears. Koenig staying up under center. Linock straight behind him, the one-back set. There is that counter play back to the near side, and he is drilled as he gets to the line of scrimmage. Great tackle. Second down and nine at the 20-yard line. Back to that trips right formation. Canning long count under center. Straight drop back to pass. He's got good protection. Steps up, throws underneath. He's got a man. That is Kinden. Turns up at the five. Steps back in the middle of the field. Touchdown, Bears. He came free in the secondary, wide open, and then had two men to beat, and he just split them. Devin turned around, and there was nobody there until about the five-yard line, and by then it was too late. He just took him into the end zone. Kendon now to attempt the extra point. Snap on the money. Kick is up. And Jim Lloyd almost tries to grab that one from the crow's nest down there. Ten. He's up there every Friday night, Feldman from the crow's nest. Couldn't be down here on the sideline. Um, but hats off to Jim Lloyd. Here is the kickoff. Fielded on the run down there by Navarro. He's got a head of steam as he gets out across the 35 and 40, 41 yard line. Where Kick and coverage just didn't match up with the way they wanted to. No, and you don't you don't want to give them anything like the 42-yard line. That's for sure. Part of that was the coverage. Part of that was the kick. There is Drake keeping it himself. Gets to the outside of the defensive end. Cobbler does a good job to recover. Not before Drake gets. And he's he's a good athlete. He's he's a good-sized quarterback. Um, has has height. Has speed. Has an arm. There is that stretch play to the left side for Olson. Gets past the first man, but Schauber comes up and makes a great tackle right at the line of scrimmage. Third and four, 48-yard line of Wilton. On the far hash mark. Bears now sneak up into a five-man front. They're going to run the quarterback draw, and there is Donovan from that nose tackle spot. Gets underneath the blocker, grabs Drake, and wrestles him down for a short one yard on the play. He's going to go back by himself. Looks like Wilton did send their punt team out. Javin Drake, the kicker, he will put a foot into it. This one a wobbler away from Barnes. It will go way out of bounds. And we will see where it goes. Say at the eight yard line. Not sure exactly how, but Kendon in the backfield. Motions left to right. There's the handoff to Linock. Tries to get to the outside, looking for a block. One man to beat as he's tripped up as he goes out of bounds all the way out to the 23-yard line. Except for your glory days. Well, yeah. Third grade peewee. First down at the 24. There is Kaney keeping it himself. Stumbles a little bit. Now he pitches out to Lenock. Has to wait for the pitch. Now turns it back up. Carries a man all the way out to the 35-yard line. Two plays and the Bears go from their eight out to the 35-yard line. Eight minutes to go, first half, West Branch leading down and seven. Ball at the 49-yard line. Twins left for the Bears. Kendon in motion. Straight drop back to pass, pump fake out and up. There you go for Barnes, going deep. He's got his man beat, makes the grab, 25, 15, 10, 5, touchdown! 51 yards, Koenig to Barnes. Shrug. The guy. Senior wide receiver, you're going against a freshman cornerback. He bit on that out. They had it set up perfectly. Koenig didn't even wait for Barnes to break the route. He waited two more counts as Kendon drills that extra point through. Makes it 21 to nothing. The offensive line's doing their job. Kendon tees it up. See if he can get a little bit better kick this time. Oh, this yeah. one is much better. Anderson fields at the nine. They're going to hand it off to Navarro. Looking to that left side. Didn't fool the Bears, including Tucker. Missed the tackle, though, as he just dove at the ankles. And Navarro able to get about an extra six, eight yards. Out. Basically the same formation most of the night. 
Twins either way. Oves in the running back straight behind Javin Drake. There's the pump fake. They're trying to go with the deep route for Timpson. And Shaver undercuts the route. Shaver gets the ball. They're fighting for it. They're going to say signal. See who's going to get this. They're going to give it to Gain of 24 and a first down into West Branch territory. Trips left this time for the Beavers. Stretch to the left side, and Ovson is greeted by a couple of guys. Evans going for the ball, couldn't get it, and Ovson's able to get ahead for a yard line. Wilton comes out with that trips to the near side this time. Long count by Drake. Sprint out to the right side. They're setting up the screen on the back side, and it's blocked well. Kendon saw it as the ball comes loose, and West Branch is on it. West Branch gets it at the 35, 36 yard line. The two refs are talking about it to see. It was a well set up screen pass too. He's saying that he did step out of bounds before the ball came out. There's the handout. Nope, Drake's gonna keep it himself and is wrestled down at the 35 yard line. With her shutout. Well, the Bears do get the ball to start the second half. Still five minutes before the break though. Wilton comes back with that spread look. Pump fake, now this draw again, and nothing doing right there for Drake as he stopped at the line of scrimmage, no gain on the play. He has heard the, the Bears to, to read it, and they did a good job that time, third and long. Third down and eight at the West Branch 35-yard line. Drake sprints out to the right, throws on the run. He's got his man Simpson, bobbles it, and makes the grab. Linock right there to wrestle him down. That'll be a gain of five to the... Reifert and Anderson left. Navarro, Timpson to the right. Drake turns, looks at Olsen. Bears showing blitz. They come, pump fake. Now Drake oh. steps up, nothing but green space in front of him. 2015 10-5 touchdown. 30-yard touchdown run for Javin Drake. 18 out of 18 on the year for the left-footed kicker. And quiets this West Branch crowd, at least for the moment. Snap on the money, kick is up, almost blocked, but look at that height that he gets as a penalty flag. Timpson put a foot into it. Again, 3.20 to go in the first half. Bears up 21 to seven. Swan, a high kick fielded at the 10 by Wargo. Heads up the middle of the field, looks for some running room and is tripped up as he gets out to the 29 yard line. In the last three minutes. <clears throat> Their corners just are not able to stay with our wide receivers. Yeah. There's one back set, twins right. Koenig sprint out that way, comes back for the screen for Linock over the defensive end. Gets oh. a great block by Tysinger. Linock is hit by Drake, not before he gets out to the 43 yard line. Actually on the completion, out to the 44. Now back to twins, offset eye. Twins to the right, the wide side of the field. There's that counter play back to the right side. Lenock looks for some running room, squirts through a small hole, runs over the safety into Wilton territory at the 44-yard line. For another 15 yards. Offensive coordinator Lurch Rummels was up here before the game. He would have loved to see that. Straight eye with the twins to the right. Koenig going to hand off to Kendon, and there you go, Quinny. Busts yep. this one, and he looks for contact. Drake there. And he will get inside the 30 to the 28-yard line, 16. First and 10, two minutes to go, first half. Ball sitting at the Wilton 28-yard line. Kendon shuffles back over, now into a straight eye. Off tackle left side. Lenock looks for some running room. Not much there, breaks a tackle, lowers the shoulder, fights his way inside the 25, down to the 23-yard line. Again. Yards uh, when they should have had him dead. Yeah. Look for a tight end to leak out on a fade route here. Sprint out and come back to him across the field. And Koenig actually is going to fumble it as he tries to pull that out. He's going to lose. Defense here. They still got two timeouts. They got 25 yards to get to the end zone. You know they want seven. Yeah. They don't want to settle for three. Shotgun, twins both ways. Koenig. Straight drop back to pass. Good protection, fires the out route, and he's got his man Shaver and spins his way inside the 20. They're going to say down at the 17. High formation. Koenig. 
Counter back to the middle of the field for Lenock, and he's inside the 15 to the 14. Bears. Well, when you ask West Branch uh, community to step forward, they do, Gracie. Yes, they do. Bears come out. Trips right, one back set. It's Caning is under, un, up under center, second down from the 13. They're going to flare it back here, going to throw it with Linock into the end zone for Kabla. Incomplete, almost intercepted. What you give her having a left hand to throw, right, Fugi? Right. <laughs> Third and six from the 13. Shotgun trips left. Koenig sprints out this way. Good protection. Fires into the end zone. Wide open. Wargo for the touchdown. They just ran routes every which way but loose, and Wargo just turns around and says, hey, look at me. There's nobody around. And he fires it in there for six more. For Wide open right in the middle, and Cooper recognizes that. Good field vision by Cooper that time. Kendon out to attempt the extra point. Snap is low. Rommel Hart gets it down. The kick is pushed left. So. I've seen you on the mound. <laughs> Uh, just got uh, word that uh, four touchdown passes and a half ties a record uh, passing touchdowns by uh, Caleb Walter and Aaron Vincent. Okay. Uh, so good job by Cooper Koenig uh, to nice. start this game. Kickoff is low and squibbing around, picked up. Oh. And it could be another, I mean, uh, they're – best bet is for him to have the ball in his hand. Yeah. So whether that's a draw or sprint out or throwing it. He is going to sprint out to the near side. Quick throw. Catch is made by Navarro. Tries to get to the sideline and is wrestled down. The Bears came out, unlike last week, ready to play here yeah. in the first half. Wilton will send their spread formation with 19.8 to go. Wilton still has one timeout. Drake straight drop back to pass. Steps up, fires down the middle of the field, and incomplete. There was some contact there, but gets to go. Third and three from the 30. But a big old pick six right here, Mike. That would be sweet, wouldn't it? Well, we've got to get some pressure on him. Drake, another sprint out, and throws behind the intended target, so 10.6 to go. Bounds. Now Barnsley's going up and Chauver's going back. Bringing the pressure, trying to get the block, and they do! Oh, yes. Sam Martins with the block, trying to scoop it up. He will run it down inside the five. They will stop the clock with two seconds left. First and goal at the eight yard line. Come out in that offset eye formation. Koenig, play action, rolls out to his left, looks for somebody, nobody there, now just throws it to the back of the end zone. Schauber tipped up. Makes the catch. Did he stay in? Yes! Holy cow. It was on top of two Wilton received defenders. He was able to fall. Great concentration by the, by Matt. Eight-yard touchdown pass. How's that for momentum? And they're going to go for two. 33-7. to seven. Bears run that one back set where the tight end, Kendon, steps back. Motion, handoff goes to Lenox, steps his way into the end zone. 35-7 Bears as we head to the locker room. Wow, what a change of momentum at the very end of the half. You're a good enough offense that they could put points up on the board, um, but the Bears made, made the plays when they had to and are going to get the kickoff here. Timpson with it teed up at the 40. And this one is a low squibber, fielded by Sparks. Looks like one of the upbacks, and he's brought down at the 35-yard line. What would you say we had in total offense there in the first half? 267 yards, 122 yeah. on the ground, 145 through the air. That's balanced, and that's, that's productive. Yeah, and 11 first downs. There is handoff off tackle right side. Luke Lanock, look out, cuts it back 40, 45 midfield. It's a foot race. He's at the 40, the 30, the 25. Tripped up by Javin Drake as he gets inside the 20. They will say down at the eight. Zach makes it 143 on the night. First down Bears at the Wilton 18-yard line. <laughs> Bears coach is noticing that the 
Beavers left the kicking tee out there. There's handoff Lenock again. Waits for a couple blocks. Breaks through one arm tackle. Stood up. Not before he fights his way inside the 10. Still going. Pushing that rugby scrum. And now they finally blow the whistle. Dead. Send Barnes and Schaubert out to the right. Offset eye under center is Koenig. And the handoff goes to Lenock. Again, probing that left side. Inside the five, down to the three. Start the game. They just come right back. Gashing away yards and find themselves first down and goal on the left hash mark. Kendon steps back from tight end. Motion left to right on the formation. Handoff to Lennox. Side steps one man in the backfield. Stood up trying to keep those legs churning as he gets brought. Snap kind of surprised everybody. Not sure if John Crawl snapped that a little early, but looked like Koenig wasn't quite ready. Everybody else was a half step slow, but second and goal from the one. Koenig, long count, handoff, Lenock right side, hit in the backfield, fights his way into the end zone for the West Branch touchdown. First one on. was really the only person that had a shot at him and and uh, basically just cut, you know, uh, wrapped, wrapped around the ankles on that. So, uh, you know, Coach Tiley came out the start of the, uh, right before the second half started, and his goal was to get a rushing touchdown. So, uh, number 32 came through. Positives, you know, for this game. So, lo look for him to... Start throwing the ball a lot. 9.58 to go, third quarter. Bears up 42 to 7. Kendon, nice deep kick fielded by Anderson at the five. Works up that far sideline. We'll look for some running room, cuts it to the outside 30, 32, 35, 36 yard line. Yes. First down for the Beavers at the 36 yard line. They run a bunch of trips left. Reifert, the lone man, back out to the right. Drake looking this way the whole time. Nice turnaround move by Reifert. Makes the stop and grab, and then carries Schauber with him out to midfield for a game. Drake throwing the ball or Drake running the ball Yeah, that's given them their most productivity. Now they come back trips to the near side. Schauber and Reifert matched up over on the wide side of the field. Drake straight drop back to pass. Looks that way. They go the out and up route, and Schauber, nice job to turn, and Drake throws that one 10 yards too far, incomplete. Shaver made a good play to stay with Reifert on that out-and-up move. Second down and 10, staying in that trips look. Now they're going to run that stretch play out to the left side. Ovson looks for some running room. Nothing there except Devin Kendon and then Donovan and then four more red shirts on top of him. 7-19 and running here on the clock. Bears up by 35, so it's a continuous clock right now. Drake with trips left. Sprints out to the right, looks for his man, Reifert, and overthrown, incomplete, fourth down. He had it covered. Looks like Drake will step in to punt this. Shaver and Barnes back at their own 10-yard line. This one, a nice high kick, angling away and out of bounds. Let's see, that one stopped at about the seven out of bounds. We'll see if they spot it at the two. Down, out of bounds. That's where they're spotting it. Almost like on a kick, they're going to spread the coverage or spread the field an extra 10 or 15 yards. First down bears at the 14. Handoff goes to Kendon, and he is wrapped. Second and nine at the 15. Wargo and Shaver, twins left. Offset eye. Handoff Lenock jumps through a couple of holes, breaks an arm tackle, runs into Drake, keeping the legs churning across the 25 to the 26-yard line. Trickett splits out wide to the near side. Looks like Shaver to the right. Straight drop back to pass. Going to run the up and out with Trickett. Coming to the near side. Ball is intercepted by Drake. Trickett can't bring him down. Drake goes down that far sideline. Or the near sideline, excuse me, inside the 30. Breaks a couple tackles. And is finally brought down inside the 20 at the West Branch 18. And... Uh now that Wilton has a good field position. Inside the red zone at the 18-yard line. Bears lead 42-7. Clock continues to run. Three and a half to go. Hand off Oveson, trying to get to that left side. Runs into Rocha, Donovan, Evans. You name it, they're coming off at the bottom of that. Second down and 10 for the Beavers. At the 18. Tight end to the right of the formation. They're going to run a sprint out to the left. Drake throws off his back foot. He's got his man in the end zone. Brisker for the 18-yard touchdown of the first quarter. 
1A versus 3A in that matchup. Caleb Timson, Timson out to attempt the extra point. Snap down, kick up, and through the uprights. Feels like Camp Randall. Yeah, the Bears on the sideline are jumping around. Timpson has another one. Nice job up there. Is, is that, that, uh, is that, uh, that's Crawl, 53. He's <laughs> 42 to 14, 248 to go, third quarter. Spent that first offensive unit so far. Handoff up the middle comes Lenock, and he is grabbed and brought down. Nice. Twins left again, offset eye. Well, eight in the box. Now we're going to have a penalty flag. False in week eight. But, yeah. You know, a lot of those little mistakes are hopefully out of the system at this point of the year. Straight eye. Second down and 13. Back at the 42. Canning toss left side for Lenock. Looks for some running room. Breaks through a couple tackles midfield. Drake there wrestles him down at the 43 of the Beavers. And he gets 15 yards in about three seconds. Yeah. Wins right for the Bears. There is the handoff to Kendon, and he looks for some running room, cuts it to the outside. Stiff arms a man, 30, jumps away from another one, still on his feet, and is finally wrestled down as he gets down to the 28-yard line. 14 yards for the fullback. The game that he's had the most carries in. Yeah, and he's up to eight carries for 44 yards. He's offset over there as the handoff off tackle left side. Lennox sidesteps one man in the backfield, carries another defender inside the 35 or 25 to the 24. Now, I've got him at nine carries for 96 yards in the second half. He's doubled his production in nine carries. Twins left, handoff to Kendon again, and is able to jump inside the 20 down to the eight. Just wearing down this this Welton yeah. uh, defensive line. You know, we got some big fellas up there, and I think they're just wearing them out at yep. this point in the game. Off tackle right side. Lennox, oh, nothing but green as he breaks through the hole into the end zone from 17. Bears go up 48 to 14. He didn't have to juke. He didn't have to go to the sideline. He just went straight forward in a flash. Yeah. I think there was one man kind of grasping out to grab him, and Lenock just ran right past him. Extra point by Kendon is good. We're back up to a 35. Uh, the only sophomore really playing up, um, and he and he has just improved as the years years got on, and, and he's a big kid. I, yeah. what, how big is he? 6'5", 270. Here is Navarro fielding the kickoff at the 10-yard line, right up the middle of the field, and runs into a brick wall of Devin Kendon. Blocked perfectly. So the Beavers come out, trips right. It's like Graves in there. Jacob Graves, 24. He's matched up with Ryford all alone out here on an island near side of the field. Handoff comes to Oveson. Martin's in there at a linebacker, grabbing him, helping push him back, and they will blow the whistle. By means out there, but uh, he's got a big heart. He goes at it. Yeah. Staying in that trips look. Drake, sprint out to his right. Looking, 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 and there he's drilled! Barnsley comes up, couldn't finish him, but who's there? Dietz and Evans to finish the sandwich back at the 25, a loss of 14. In a flash. Now they're going to put Barnes out in a corner right now. Third down and 19, back at the 29-yard line. Drake, pump and go, looks for the wheel route, and there's Kabla to throw him down again. Another nine-yard loss back to the 20-yard line. Fourth and a mile for Yeah, those guys are in there quickly. Barnes and Shaver step back to their own 40-yard line to receive Drake's punt on fourth and 28 at the 20-yard line. Drake, another nice wobbly kick. Barnes will field at the 42, comes back near side, looks for a block, and got one. That was it. He'll get out to the West Branch 49-yard line. Shape. Brandon Rummelhart into the ball game at quarterback. Rest of the starting offense is out there, though. Barnes and Shaver to the right. 
There is the handoff off, or the fullback rather, on the dive is. They want to make sure that uh, Brandon's got experience with the uh, with the other starters in case right. he's ever needed in crunch time. Well, and like we said, he was fighting for that starting job. As it looks like they slide Kendon back to tailback. Martin's in at fullback. They'll hand it to Martin. He's looking for some running room. Fights his way across the 40, down to the 39, six yards on the play. Touchdown drive, and then they went three and out. Yeah. And we've got 8.15 to go in the ball game. Bears up 49-14. to 14. So their second half total yardage is not, can't be much. Straight drop back to pass is Rummel Hart. There's the out route. Two trick it. Nice grab with the hands up. Pulls it in as he's getting brought down. Still able to control it to the 31-yard line. Trying to get the seniors out at various times here. Second down and three. Looks like Graves in dotting the eye. Blitz coming, handoff to Graves. He's hitting the backfield. Nothing doing as he's going to get dropped for a loss of three on the 34. Wargo splits out left. Shaver to the right. I think I saw Christian laying in there at a tackle now for the Bears. There's the handoff to Martins, and nothing doing for him as he is drilled right at the... So let's see if they can pick up a first down and keep this clock going. Fourth and six at the 34. Blitz being shown by Wilton. Romo Hart, five-step drop, chucks this one deep near side, looking for Shaver. Makes the adjustment at the 15, stays on his feet, into the end zone. 34-yard touchdown pass, Romo Hart to Shaver. Holy cow. Yeah, that ball was up in the air. Shaver. Romo Hart, after making that throw, has got to squat down to a knee. Rocha will snap it to him for Kendon to attempt the extra point. Snap on the money. Rommel Hart lost it for a set, gets it back under control, and couldn't get it down in good enough time, though, as Kendon pushes that one right. Oh, yeah. He'll be back next year. 6.06 to go, 55-14. to 14. Bears with the lead. A little bit of journey going with the crowd singing along. This kick is fielded by Anderson. Bobbles a little bit inside the 10. Comes to the near side, and he sees nothing but red. And right there, Flugie, that's what you want to see out of your kick coverage. Five red jerseys around that. Uh, another quarterback here. Yep. Number two, Jerome Mays, a freshman. Will man this offense. Snap a little wide. He will hand it off to Trey Brisker. Brisker gets back to the line of scrimmage. Dietz in there at the other D tackle. There is that stretch play with Brisker and was hit in the backfield. He's able to keep the feet, though, and gets out across the 21, maybe the 22. A, a whole lot of people thought that they, they could be. They had 22 seniors last year. Um, you know, a couple of big-time tackles that they had to replace. Um, a quarterback. And Mays on the quarterback keeper as he looked left. Nothing was open. This year to get the Bears to this point. Wilton does get the first down, so with approaching three minutes to go in the game, Beavers have the ball first and ten. Stretch handoff to Brisker, tries to get to the outside, looks for some running room across the 45, across the 35 rather, out to the 40, 41. Yard. Sparks comes in at a defensive end for the Bears. That kid's only a freshman yeah. and has played a lot of special teams for the Bears. There's a fumble on the snap, and Sparks right there looking for it. A couple of freshmen fighting for it. The ball's still loose. Now the Bears... Come up with it at the 29-yard line. I believe it was. So that was a non-district. Non-district. So they are one loss in the in the yep. district. So now Alburnett next week as the Bears come up in the victory formation. I'm just going to kneel on it here. Okay, but right. it's going to be a lot nicer knowing that you're guaranteed that home game. You don't have to wait to see what the state does. Yeah, and Alburnett knows that they're in the playoffs too. And so... They want to go into the playoffs on a winning note. So, Gracie, you know, I guess wrapping this up, hats off to a lot of seniors this year. Finished up well here on senior night. Um, as Flugie said, probably the best game overall that the Bears have played. Going to have to snap it one more time here. 17 first downs for the Bears on the night. Let's see, that's zero, carry the one. Flugy, pretty exciting, uh, pretty excited sideline down there, isn't it? 
It is. This is some of the uh, the most emotion I've seen out of the Bear team this year. I mean, a, it was just a great performance by him on there. So uh, we'll try and visit with a couple of the players besides Coach Peterson uh, after their team huddle. We'll take a quick timeout, finish our stats. We will come back and have more of the BearCast, westbranchfootball.com. <laughs> 